but said, it is a new and holy day today. For we receive what has been given us, meaning we're going to accept it now. We're going to accept his grace. We're going to claim it now. We're going to accept the grace that is given us. Our faith lies not in ourselves, but in God. Our faith lies in the giver and not in our own acceptance because we really do diminish ourselves. We do not think we are worthy. We do not claim the truth. But he has proclaimed, I don't care what you think. I'm going to get through. I will get through. <laughs> I cannot be stopped. The power of love is inevitable. That's what the course is constantly saying. It's a, it's a fatalistic course. Your fate has been, has been, what do you call it? Uh, met. Your fate has been sealed, I guess I should say. Your fate's been sealed. And your fate is you will awaken to God's love. You will awaken to the truth. Isn't that, what do you think about that? That should just make us so happy. So how long it says you let an alien will appear to rule your life is up to you. But your fate is sealed. You will awaken to the love of who you are. You will know your oneness. There is no other doubt than that. That is the truth. So what this is saying is, for we are going to receive and we have faith because he will, he will give it to us and we will eventually accept it. How long we wait? Well, that's up to us. So we acknowledge our mistakes, but he to whom all error is unknown is yet the one who answers our mistakes by giving us the means to lay them down. Sure, you've made mistakes. The course is constantly saying, of course you've made mistakes, but they're mistakes that can be corrected. His job is to say, okay, now, now just keep going. But did you see the mistake I made? Yeah, I've corrected that. Okay, yeah, but did you see it? It was really bad. Yeah, yeah, got it. You're, you're, you're fine. You're okay. Yeah, but it was really, really bad. Did you take, look, look, let's move through it. Let's, let's take a peek at it. You know, let's see who did what first and when somebody said that. And then I said this. And how many times have you done that? It's all done. Problem's all done. And then you go, well, let me tell you this one. Because this, boy, this was a biggie, you know, 20 years ago. Well, let me tell you how I handled this one. This one, this, you know, and we go through it all over again. We never put it down. We keep picking it up. He says, okay, it's done. We're all done with that. Let's put that down now. He answers our mistakes by giving us the means to finally lay them down and rise to him in gratitude and love. And that, it says, it says, you know, we don't even have to rise. It says, you know what? We just start to go and he comes right to us. You know, we start to go, I got to get up there. To no, 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 I'm coming right down to you. We don't have to climb with our shupas. What is that, sherpas? Sherpas, we don't have to climb uh, What's it, Everest, the new movie? I'm not going to tell you what happens with that one. <laughs> but we don't even have to go to that one, right? He comes right down to you. Don't, Sherpa, don't need a Sherpa. There's God. He's your Sherpa. And he's right down there with you. He descends to meet us as we come to him for what he has prepared for us. He gives and we receive. So he prepares it. And then he says, open your mouth. Here, let me give it to you. He's like a mommy bird. Doesn't, no matter what, it, what we think it looks like, he's just there feeding us. You know, right there with us, giving us everything we need. All we have to do is make the effort. He gives and we receive. Such is his will because he loves his son. To him we pray today, returning but the word he gave to us through his own voice, his word, his love. All we have to do is turn to him and say, help. We don't have to come up with the pretty words, but here's some pretty words, if you will. Your grace is given me. I claim it now. Father, I come to you now. And you will come to me who asks because the moment I turn to you, you're there. Did you call me? I'm here. What? Did you going to say something? Did you turn in my direction? I'm here. You know, right there with you. And I will come to me who ask. I am the son you love. I am the child you love. I am the one you love. I know this. Nothing has changed that. But this is the, that's a big statement because I am the son you love. We don't believe that. That's a huge awareness for us to overcome. We think we've done something wrong that he has not forgiven us for. And he says, there's nothing you could do that I would not love you through. And you've done nothing to cause my love to be withheld from you. So anyway, great lesson. Just let's just practice that for ourselves. And then, you know, the thing is too, you can, you can affirm this for yourself because as you affirm it for yourself, you affirm it for everyone, but affirm it for others too. Those who are going through difficult times or challenging times uh, that, that, you know, maybe we don't, we don't know uh, 
we've never been through that. So we're, we're with you. You know, we're with you in that love. And we're going to claim that grace for, for those going through these things.